So a bilinear transformation, also known as a Möbius transformation or linear tra fractional transformation, takes this form. Um, we need the condition where alpha, beta, gamma, delta are any complex numbers, except that we need this condition. So basically, if uh, the ratio of alpha to beta is equal to the ratio of gamma to delta, then we'll just get a constant when we divide this by this. Okay. Now we can just factor out z plus something and get a constant. So multiplying through this, this is equivalent to this. So we're not, we're not allowed uh, this. Um, otherwise, we're free to choose alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Um, if gamma is zero, then this reduces to a linear transformation. Um, otherwise, it's something interesting. It turns out that this is actually a combination of all the transformations we've looked at so far. Um, if gamma is not zero, so it's not a linear transformation, then it turns out that this transformation, we can now test this, if I translate z by delta over gamma and then do an inversion and then scale by beta gamma minus alpha delta over gamma squared. So it's beta gamma minus alpha delta over gamma squared. So multiply bottom by gamma squared. So it's gamma squared and gamma on the bottom. And then translate by alpha plus gamma, sorry, alpha over gamma, then this should actually give me this. So just try that. Well, the bottom is looking good. I'll, I'll use, I'll take out a factor of gamma and then use that to get divide the beta on top. And then I've got minus alpha delta over gamma. And then I'm adding um, alpha over gamma. So to do that on the top. So I multiply top and bottom by z plus delta over gamma, then I've got this. And sure enough, this cancels this, and I've got alpha z plus beta over gamma z plus delta. So um, all of these operations the uh, uh, translation inversion and um, scaling, all of those operations transform, transfer, transform uh, circles onto circles in the extended complex plane. So extended complex plane, um, a straight, there's no such thing as a straight line anymore in the extended complex plane. If we have a straight line, then that's lo basically like a circle with infinite radius. Uh, which touches the points in infinity. So we know therefore that the bilinear trans transformation will always turn, will also turn circles into circles in the, uh, in the extended uh, complex plane. And also, um, these maps are one to one in the extended complex plane. Um, so the linear transformations are obviously one to one because they're just uh, moving shapes around. In the complex, extended complex plane, the point zero gets mapped to the points at infinity by one over z. So that also means that in the extended complex plane, 
inversion is also one to one. We, we include the point at infinity as a, as a valid point. So it turns out that in fact, the bilinear transformation is the most general one to one mapping. And in fact, if a transformation can't be written in the form of this bilinear transformation, then it's actually not a one to one mapping from one extended complex plane to another. Sorry, from all of one extended complex plane to the Z extended complex plane to all of the other um, extended complex plane. So basically, the bilinear transformation will map the entire extended complex plane uh, to another entire extended complex plane. 